I need to ask you this. I'm trying to put some money together to get a bed in the shelter. I only got 50. 50? That's too much. I can't. You can split it. Uh, no, no, no. 50 is okay. If I give you 50, you have to do something for me. Is this a style? I was going for rat's tails. You look like a different person. What have you done with my daughter? I killed her. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> What are you doing here? What are you doing here? You make a habit of befriending girls that are significantly younger than yourself. Oh my god! Mila's obsessed with that boy. She's a smart girl. Mila? That boy has problems! So do I! What are you looking at? Piss off! Oh, God. I lost my hair. It looks cool. It's like way better than the one that I gave you. No. <laughs> I'll do anything. Can he please stay? Mila, he threatened me with a meat prong. He threatened my wife with a meat prong? <laughs> I don't want to hurt you. So don't. Moses! Wait, Henry, Henry! Mila should have the world at her feet right now. I have no idea what you're feeling. I can't feel anything because I can't breathe because you take up all the air. I think something in you has changed. It was like you weren't scared of anything. I don't think the world would be this big or weird if we become obsessed with functionality. She's gonna be okay. Oh, that'll do. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is the worst possible parenting I can imagine. So when did women first start directing movies? Earlier than you might imagine, Alice Guy Blaché was the first woman to direct a movie back in 1896 with The Fairy of the Cabbages, which sadly has been lost since its creation. Incredibly, this is also considered to be the first ever narrative film. Over her lifetime, she founded her own studio, Solak Studios. She directed between 40 and 50 films and supervised nearly 300 other productions. Hmm, wow. If you like my show, get one for yourself in the link in the description.